Today we're going to start working on the epoxy fillets for the inside joints. I temporarily put the front cap, that windshield, on top just to kind of visualize the way that it looks. These are somewhat loosely attached, so we still have some wiggle room when it comes time to attach that to the deck. But I just wanted to kind of play around and see, see how that looked. But the temperature is nice outside. I prefer to do epoxy mixing and fillet work outdoors. I don't like the fumes inside my basement shop. So let's get this moved outside and start mixing that up. The way that I'm going to do the inside seams is to lay the boat over on its side. It seems to make access to the inside parts a whole lot more accessible. And I can reach around in here and get my hand all the way up into the top corners there without too much difficulty. So we can reach all these seams. And as far as the bulkhead areas, the designer made some bigger openings here so that we can get an arm a whole lot farther into these little cubbies. So we'll try to get as far into these joints as we can. And then after that, the outside ones will be seamed with the epoxy fillet so that the expanding foam should be contained in those areas. But by laying the boat over, access seems to be a whole lot better. The design is really interesting. The boat is only six feet long, but it feels a whole lot bigger when you look at it kind of on its side and from different angles. This is the first time that I've had it outside for any kind of work. There are all kinds of different fillet tools that you can purchase. What I usually do is just buy some of these paint stirrers and spend a few minutes on the scroll saw and kind of make my own shapes. Popsicle sticks work fine, and with gloves you can just use your fingers too. But just something to help smooth out that joint. Got the two-part epoxy mix. I did pick up some wood flour, so we're going to make some thickened fillet material there and then some Ziploc bags to apply it to some of those inside seams. And we've got the front nose part, the joints epoxied up. After that, we'll move on to the transom and inside the bulkheads. The inside seams have all been epoxied with the wood flour. Everything's nice and tight. The bulkheads have been done and the transom's been done. This is just a very messy part of the build. The next part will be to cut off some of the cable ties inside and then move on to sealing up some of the inside seams at the base of the bulkhead. I've been able to reach most of the inside corners using the Ziploc bag and just cutting the corner off but there are some sections that I can't quite get to and these are in the back of the bulkheads. With the larger hole cut out it's a little easier to reach back but I still can't get into those back corners very well. So I've ordered some reusable refillable caulking tubes. Those should get here this week and then we'll mix up some epoxy fillet, put it into the caulking tubes and get some of those back corners. But right now we're making progress. The boat's coming along Thanks for taking a look.